Hey guys, welcome back to one of my videos. This is um the Stop Motion Army channel and today I'm going to be going over my entire Army Men collection. So this includes my new setup for D-Day that I have right here and my Nazi and my Jenga setups. And then I'm also going to be going over my AC-130, my um, uh, carrier, so my support ships. I have them organized by German, so that's a Tiger tank there. I have my Sherman tanks here. My extra large Super Sherman tank. Some more green army men. Gosh. Uh, some pink army men I just got, some women army men, some special ops, my planes, some more of my army men, all of my British ones, and then I can't go through all of these bins right here, but this is kind of my main setup, and if you're wondering why I've done it this way, then there's a new video coming out actually very soon, and it's basically going to be all of the alliances, so the green, the pink, the yellow so the british the americans and everyone um joining together to fight the nazis which is why as you can see here i've made uh some bunkers out of an amazon box here's an 88 millimeter i uh, got the gun setups like this um so i'm very excited about this video i'm still constructing it right now um Still got a lot more pieces to go with, but um, yeah. And then let me move my AC-130. Uh, the ships here are going to be landing. Here are the landing craft. Um, we have the artillery pieces that are going to be bombarding. Um, and then the landing craft here. So they're going to be going into the landing craft just like this. And then these are actually the barges. So the entire armies are going to be waiting out here on the barges. You could ignore these. Uh, German tanks. They're not actually going to be there. Um, this is one of the amphibious tanks I'm going to use. And yeah, and then your favorite characters are coming back too. Of course, we've got General Washington. And then so a couple new characters actually. So I think you guys are going to be really excited for this. Um, some Civil War era people are going to be coming. So this is going to be Captain. I haven't come up with a name yet. But if you can see here, they have um, an Insignia and they have all of these soldiers with bayonets, and then they have a lot of different poses and stuff, and horses. It's really cool. I have some special ops right here, and then obviously my Sherman tanks. Um, some of these new Nazi ones are new. So this is a Jagged Panzer. Um, really cool. Tiger tank. This is a Panzer 3 or 4. I have the piece for this, I just can't find it right now. Another Tiger tank. Another Panzer. Some landing craft, landing craft, um, uh, some howitzers that I've set up on a aircraft carrier to mimic D-Day, uh, random, um, just a random tank I have. Some rocket troops right here, which are really, really cool. Um, I'll leave the links to a lot of this down below. I can't remember all of them off the top of my head. This is one of my favorite ones. It's like a AC-130 replica. It normally has the four... Uh, turbines but I took them out because my dog chewed them so now it looks like they're engines but yeah the stickers come with it still makes the sounds and everything so that's really cool um, so yeah the videos is gonna be coming out fairly soon I'm gonna get the trailer out hopefully in the next couple days here are my yellow troops uh, I got the one of these British planes that I built on um, one time so these are a lot of tan and British shoulders and then some woman right here who i put there i don't know why uh my american soldiers here i have so many american soldiers i have bins upon bins upon bins upon bins upon bins um and i haven't even done my japanese soldiers yet but i ran out of space so i thought i would just give you guys what i have right now so here's a spitfire i have without the uh first part uh p51 um a gray normal tank which is very rare i don't have many of those and this is my t-34 that i recently got so i'm super excited about that and then i'll probably um come down here to some of my favorite 
army men that I have. These are the army men women. So you can see here there's a dog. They have a piece of person on the stretcher. They have some really unique poses and they're pink. So they're one of my favorite. And then here's a bunch of spec op ones. They have a car and stuff. And then over here, um, two Jeeps, a couple tanks, uh, a half track, a bigger Jeep for a different scale. Um, two Abrams tanks right here. Um, and then a lot of stuff also comes in tan when I get it with it, so I have a lot of tan stuff. Here's a lot of the Play-Doh that I use. I use Play-Doh in all my videos. Um, oh, here are the landing craft that are going to be used soon. Um, and then, yeah, so those are the four Shermans I have. One of the ones got bit off. This is a half-track with a anti-tank gun mounted on it. A uh, normal half-track, a Jeep half-track. This is a super person tank. Um, so all these are going to be making debuts in the film. Uh, here's like a smaller plane that I have. And then here's just like a detailed backdrop of everything. Um, but yeah, so you guys are going to be so excited to see all this. So basically I have, I cut out uh, some Amazon boxes, so the Germans already in, uh, in their positions and stuff. Try to make it as realistic as possible. Um, like a sniper right here with a hole to shoot out of. Uh, this guy is a Panzerfaust. These guys are up here. It's going to be hell for the Americans. They have the artillery set up. And I actually cut out the room, so there's an 88 millimeter in here, and I can actually. I can actually look in here and so I have it set up and so from this perspective the Nazis are going to be looking at the invasion so you can see here they have their artillery set up just like this um, there's a lot of like also cool little positions that I've made um, some people sniping up here and so basically um, Hey guys, sorry about that. Um, the video cut out for a second. But yeah, basically, uh, this is my entire setup. Um, I have um, a couple more things that I can maybe show you guys. Um, let me know. Uh, let me know definitely in the comments if you want me to do like a deeper dive. Um, these tanks are really, really cool. I haven't found a lot of them before. Um, these uh, This aircraft carrier is really nice. These howitzers. A lot of this stuff is really hard to find, so let me know, trust me took me a while um but yeah no definitely these cutouts i i'm not gonna flip it around because i'm setting it up for the d-day battle but yeah so this is going to be really 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 cool um all the positions are just like a d-day uh point de hawk omaha beach that's what i'm going for i have the artillery placements back here this right here is not historically accurate i know <laughs> But yeah, I got the 88 millimeters. These aren't exactly 88 millimeters, um, but they're like kind of like rip off ones. But you can see in here, I've set it up. So uh, I'll shoot a scene. So from the perspective of um, the Nazis, they're going to be, uh, first the troops are gonna embark and then they're gonna get onto the landing craft. And this is why I have the ramps going like this. And then these are all the troops waiting to go on shore because it's an alliance and there's going to be a meeting beforehand. Anyway, I'm um, going to have the landing craft. Um, oh, um, I'm going to have the landing craft up here. I'm going to go on like this. And then there's going to be a whole opening of fire and stuff. And the troops are going to run out. And then. Yeah, you guys will see what's going to happen. And I have a whole series planned. Um, hopefully I can get it all done. But it's going to be following basically the Alliance armies. So the British, the French, um, my, uh, American Special Forces women. Everyone's going to have a role. And it's going to be like a mini series. It's kind of like Band of Brothers. Um, so I'm starting out with D-Day just like Band of Brothers. And I'm going to try and do my own kind of spin on it. So yeah, if y'all have any more questions, uh, let me know. And thank y'all. Okay, have a great day.